Show, buddy Michael Trip here playing Run 8 Train Simulator 3. And this is the A Line Episode 18. All right, we are here with the Shunter. See that? The Jax Duval Shunt. Uh, and uh, we are shunting in the Jax Duval Yard, which is right where you would expect. How much fuel do these things have? That's about halfway down. How about this one? That one's better. Uh, eventually, I'm going to have to send them over, right? To get fuel from somewhere. That's a problem for later. What we're doing here now is I'm going to fly down. This train here is just waiting to get into the Jacks of All Yard. Uh, is we are taking all of these cars and we're piling them up here uh, in this yard. You see this yard is almost completely full. This line that we're down here now is completely full. Uh, so we're going to have to come down this line here. And then we're going to start stacking them in this smaller yard back over here as much as we can. Uh, now, somebody uh, in the comment section of my last video of this uh, series said, these two trains here I had mentioned, this one here, the Rice Yard Road, and this one right here, the Jacks Duval Road, both have to pick up these cars uh, and get them over to Rice Yard. So why don't I just have those two pull out the cars they're going to take thereby giving me more room, which makes 100% sense, and I'm not going to do it. <laughs> I, I wrote that person back and said, you know what, I'm kind of rigid when it comes to waiting for every train's turn before I start doing things when it's not their turn. And that person said, I need to be less rigid. They weren't mean or anything. They just said, perhaps I should consider being less rigid. I've considered it, and I'm not going to do it. So I'm I'm very sorry. Okay, and another train we have over here, which I might have mentioned last time. Now, these are all just stored engines. This is just stored power. They're, they're not going anywhere uh, in particular. But this one right here is the, see if, I don't know if you can read that or not, but it's, it says the road Taft Yards. That one's from Taft. Uh, eventually, we'll have to send him back down to Taft Yard. He's probably just going to be a power move. Okay, so. Where, where did we leave off? Probably right over here, right? Probably disconnected it. Yes, we did. All righty then. So let's land right here. There we go. And uh, although we're going to probably take off right away again. And now we're going to move our train forward. And to do that, I probably should bring up the train HUD. There it is right there. Uh, except that's not what I want. It tells me how many loads and empties and all that other stuff. What I really want is the engine HUD. There we go. So it tells me what you know what we're in, what the uh, brake cylinder is at, what notch we're in, all that good stuff. So now we're going to pull forward is what we're going to do. We're going to put it into forward. I hear a train horn. I'm not blowing the horn. Probably out on the main line there. Uh, well, let's take a look. Where are we at? Uh, we are in Jax Duval, which is not on this screen, right? No. Here we are in Jax Duval. I don't. Is this? Is it right here? No, that's us. <laughs> Thinking I hear a train, maybe I don't. Okay, let's let's uh, get to work now. Uh, so we're gonna go forward. Now that I, that was me right there. So uh, let's put it, uh, break cylinders down. Yep, we can put it into notch one. No, 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 no. There you go, notch one. All right, it is moving. You see, oh, yeah, you can see up here. We got to get it past this one right here is where we got to get it. So we can send it down this way, uh, and we might as well throw this switch correctly, right, to that one right there. There we go. We're going to put it in notch two. Notch one's just not enough for it to move all that weight. I don't hear anything moving yet. I can see the mile per hour still going. Oh, no, it's hanging there now. There we go. Now it's moving. Okay. Very good. We'll back it up here. Just until it clears this switch right here so I can throw it, then we can run it down. I don't want to put anything on this line right here. I want to leave this open as a yard runaround track. But we're not going to park anything on that track right there. The FEC. It's the FEC. Yeah, you know me. 
All right, here we go. Right there. Put on some indie break. All right, uh, now there we go. Indie break got it done. Now we're gonna put it. Uh, get some slack action here, but that's all right. We're gonna put it into uh, reverse now. We're gonna release the break. There it goes down to zero. Now we're gonna put it on throttle one. Notch one, if you will. So we're gonna go here, then that way. Now we're gonna put it in notch two. I think those are two SD. 45s. You can't see it from here, can you? I don't think so. No, you just can't. All right. So while this is backing up now, we're going to do some flying. Not very realistic, but what are you going to do? All right. So we're going to fly down here. Uh, and we are going to keep this normal. That's right. This one here should be normal. It is. This one here. We're, uh, well, you know, I could do it. Instead of flying... I could do it where I hang on, you know, like a real conductor and just throw the switches as needed. Yeah, let's do that instead. Have the train stop it or whatever. Okay, so now we're going to land back down. How fast are we going here? 3.8? Okay, I just got run over. I just got run over because I hit my... Oh, there we go. <laughs> trying to find... Trying to put my fingers. The mic is in my way, so I have a hard time. Oh, it's not going to let me pick up on this one, is it? Nope, this is one of those mysterious, it's not going to work. Okay, so now I'm going to have to fly because I won't be able to see. All right, so much for that. It won't let me grab onto that, so we're going to have to we're gonna have to do the cheating way. Uh, over here, this one we're going to want to throw this way. There we go. And then we'll just walk over here. We'll say that's good. We're going to want to throw it this way now. Onto this track. Seems like we got a lot of cars, which is why I'm, I'm throwing all these switches. Get them on the farthest track possible. Throw that one into reverse. Throw this one into reverse. Throw this one into reverse. Not close enough. Throw this one into reverse. There we go. And then we're going to back them all the way up to here. And when we get this track filled up, we can pull them forward again and then back them onto that track. Actually, we can pile them all the way up into here, can't we? Because the engines that are stored on this track further up uh, have a way to get out going forward. So, uh, yeah, that's what we'll do. Okay. Oh, yeah. And I can't grab onto this now, right? It's going to be a jerk. Run alongside it. No, we'll see if I can grab onto the next one. Maybe I'm hitting the wrong key. I don't think I am. Nope, I'm not. That's all right. We'll ride right here instead. We'll just uh, pretend that the step up there, uh, you see the step right here? The step on this side of the car uh, got damaged and was ripped off on both sides, so I can't stand there. <laughs> yeah, you can pretty much make up anything when you're the owner uh, of, the, uh, of the railroad. All right, so we're doing... All right, 8.5. 8.6, going up slow. Let's, let's put it in notch three. Give us a little more oomph. Speed limit here. Uh, well, according to uh, the rail driver, the speed limit here is 10. We're going to go up to 15. Because we are risk takers. We do have a little bit of swaying going on here. I'd be nervous about that. We're not going to derail, are we? I'm hoping not. Okay. Maybe that's why this is 10 back here, not 15. Oh. 
It is. It seems like a lot of sway. Is this a normal amount of sway? Fifteen can't be too fast, right? Well, I, I don't know who I'm asking all these questions to. I really, really don't. I really don't. I'm not getting any answers, uh, but I keep asking. Now, this one coming up here does have kind of a one of the th switches I throw. The, the look at that—that's kind of steep right there. All right, we're gonna we're gonna take it back down now. Ten mile an hour. Oh no, that's going the wrong way. All right, put it notch zero. Slow us down here. So maybe we will go ten. What am I in a hurry for? Really not. What was that? <laughs> Just some slack action. It scared me. All right. There we go. Now let's see if we can make it over this... Uh, this crossover without derailing. We're, we're slowing down pretty good. I still haven't, I haven't used any brake yet. It looks like we're all right. It looks like we're all right. All right. So let, let's set the slow speed right there. Then we'll put it back in notch two. Keep us going. All right. Looking back on the train. Can I see the front of the train yet? Nope. It's just a whole lot of... Well cars, whole lot of containers. All right, now we'll go around here. We're slowing down some more now. We're getting some flange friction, I imagine. There we go, we're all right. Around this corner. There we go. All right, the rest of the way should be some smooth sailing. It shouldn't be too bad. I'll run this down to the other side, and uh, when we get down to the other side, I'll bring it back. Okay, so we're getting close down to the other end now. We're going to give it a little bit of auto brake here, slow it down to below five mile an hour so I can jump off realistically. I know. I go back and forth between realistic and unrealistic, but what are you going to do, huh? If that bothers you? Well, this just may not be the channel for you. I've got some auto brake on. I'm not giving it some uh, indie brake. I'm backing off on both of them. There we go. Let me jump off. Uh, how about you give some more power now? Up to notch two once again. Uh, I got to bleed those brakes off. Bail the brakes. There we go. All right. So we're going to back this one up here. Going back this way. There we go. I'm bailing the brakes and stuff. Looking at my speed up there. All right. Walk back right back into this area here. We'll back it up. Probably stop it right here somewhere. Somewhere. Right around here. Can we see the engines yet? I don't think so. No. Now this one has fewer tracks, but it seems like the tracks are a lot longer on this side. So. That's good. We need the room, that's for sure. Of course, if you took someone's advice, you wouldn't need the room. I know. I know. go throw it into neutral now i want to roll backwards here just a little bit give me some brakes give me all kinds of brakes there we go oh oh, oh. yeah up up 
I stopped. Well, I don't know. Is this is this gonna be far enough along now? Yeah, I think so. We can stop the other one right here. Okay, so now we're gonna run. Well, let's fly because it takes too long to run. Not time to run. Okay, so we're gonna fly up here, and we are gonna leave this one all the way up here. Why not? Okay. Here's this switch. I can't leave this one on the switch. It's just it's too wrong. All right, so here we go now. Let's uh, take the brakes all off. Uh, come on, brake cylinder. Go down to zero, buddy. Well, let's put this thing in neutral, too. There you go. It won't bail now. There it goes. Now it's bailing. There you are. It takes a while. i got to be patient. Okay, so we're going to go here. It's got too much strain, so we'll set the handbrake. And we'll back it up. Give me a bump. See the engine here now? Oh, yeah. Is that it right there? Yeah, it's it right there. I see the windows. I see the cab. All right. Here we go. Saw some movement there. There we go. Stop, stop, stop. Okay, so this one's got the handbrake on. That's good. We're going to open the coupler. Come over here, open the coupler, close the angle cock. Uh, very good. Now we're throwing it in the forward. And let's go forward. Wonder if notch one's gonna be less because the train's a lot shorter now. Yep, it is very good. Now the switch is over on this side, is it? Yeah, it is. Okay, so we're gonna walk down here while the train pulls forward. This will be the second track we're gonna load it onto right here. We'll run this one all the way down. I think these are set correctly. I don't know. Uh, if it lets me right on the end there. Of course, I was, I was looking on when we were riding on the one that wasn't all the way at the end. I still could see. I probably still could have done it. I, I want to try to do it realistically somewhat here and there because then it kind of differentiates the game a little bit more from trains. And that adds to my enjoyment. Maybe not yours, but this is my YouTube channel. So, yeah, 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 yeah. I'm going to do what I want to do. Okay, so we got that now. Can I grab onto this one? Look at that. There we go. Okay. Uh, now we're going to throw it in reverse. There we go. Get rid of the brakes. Let's back it up. Yeah, all these are these two cuts here. This one here, and the one behind it there, are both uh, on the inbound here, both waiting. This yard loads everything. It loads uh, the auto racks, the well cars, but it unloads the refrigerated ones here. Okay. Now, what do these next switches look like? That's not a switch, is it? Nope, it sure isn't. We're just going to go right around the corner there. I just put it in a notch two to speed things up just a little bit. There we go. And now, rail driver's telling me it's 15 mile an hour here. It must be because that... That yard up front now. Our engines have cleared that yard up front, which is why the speed goes up. Could be. Well, probably is, right? I mean, what what else would cause it to do that? The speed limits here in uh, Run 8 are pretty good. The ones in, uh, in uh, trains are suspect most of the time. Most of the time, it, it does the right thing, but occasionally it'll give you one, and you're like, nah, that can't be right. All 
Brady. Hoping we're going to fit the rest of this train on these tracks right here. We still have all of these tracks to mess around with. We'll see. Around the corner we go. And there we are. Okay, so uh, again, I'm going to put you on pause till we run all the way down here to the other red, and I'll bring you back when we get down. Okay, here we come up on the end now. Let's slide it back into zero. Now, this switch is throwing the long, wrong way here, so we should really not override it if we do. Of course, in this game, even when a car is over a switch, if you get it halfway over, so like there's trucks on this side and trucks on this side, you can still throw the switch. So it's not like trains where you get it over the end and you're like, uh-oh. There's no, there's no recoverable option. In this case, there is. Okay. Let's slow it. Let, let's, in fact, we're, we're going to probably bring it to a stop right here, right? Yeah, that should do. We should no reason to squeeze them any closer than that. So let's uh, let's see what we got going on on the other end here now. Is it enough? Oh, <laughs> it's close. It's really, really close. Okay, so we got those there. We got these here. So we're gonna want to we're gonna want to cut it right here again. Yeah, we might as well cut it right here. Because if I, I I could leave this one here, but then trains coming this way to get that load might run into it. It probably won't. It's more than far enough away, but we're going to cut it right here anyway. Okay, so here we go. What do we got? Can I decouple right now? Sure can't. Let's set the handbrake back up. Give the engineer the hidey ho to back it up once I bail the brakes out. See right up here, BC, brake cylinder. There it goes. And there we are. Now let's back it up. Perfect. It's nice here at the front. It happens quickly. All right, so we'll go over here. We're going to open the coupler. Come over here. Open the coupler. Close the angle cock. Go to forward gear. Reverse to forward. A couple of warning blasts on the horn. There we go. All righty. Oop, squeeze through there. And now... Uh, well, that engine's not moving real fast, is it? Let's put it in notch two. There we go. I had to hit the F7 key for some reason. I don't know why. All right, well, you know what I could have actually done? Of course, it's awfully fast to jump on the train now, but I'm going to cheat. And go. Ah, <laughs> so you should have rode it back down here. I thought it was a, a quicker walk than it actually was. Now we're going to head down those other tracks. This one right here, as a matter of fact. All right, throw it back in neutral. There's the switch there. It's on the other side, but I can see the those two boards. These right here. All right, so slow that down. Very good. Jump off. Get some. Nice. Back over this way now. Now, what side is the next one on? Not that it means to be. We're going to stop short of it anyway, right? Yeah, we're going to have to stop, though, because it's thrown the wrong way. Okay, so let's put it in reverse. Turn off the brakes. Do a little bailing. There we go. Back it up. There we go. 
Beautiful. Now you really do see the edges from here. Yep, they're there. Just a few cars, like five cars, maybe four cars, five cars. So we'll just get them out of the... <clears throat> excuse me, just get them past the... Uh, out of the track a little bit. We won't run them all the way down to the other end. No need to. There we go now. We're going to allow it to go. I just released the uh, slow speed. We're going to allow it to go to 15 here. Although we might not reach 15 by the time we have to stop anyway. Let's take that off. I think this first one is set normal, which is correct. But the next one has to be set to reverse. I want to get out of this track way over here. Down. There we go. Jump off. Look back. Make sure the train's not going to crush me. Throw it right here. Give me a hand signal. Here he comes. And we're going to back it up. Now, this one's uh, this one's got this track kind of like hangs out a little bit more. You see what I'm saying? It's not quite as tight as these two are to one another. So we don't have to back it around the curve necessarily. If we back, get the, the, the yeah, trail engine about right here should do us. Go. Slip it into neutral. Should be able to coast from here. Why do they only got one container on these? Come on, people. Let's maximize this, huh? Are there bridges they have to go under? They can't get under, so they got to single stack them. All right. Didn't quite stop where I wanted to, but close enough for government work, although we're not working for the government. Uh, okay, come on. Here we go. <laughs> Set it. Bump me some love. There you go. Open the coupler. Come over here. Open the coupler. Close the angle cock. Give me some forward action. There we go. All right, then we're going to walk to the front of the train here to uh, 6496. We're going to grab on because you know what we got to do? We got to run all the way back to the other side of the yard again now, don't we? Now, do everything should be set correctly. Yeah, it should be. So let's uh, let's go. Now we'll be able to set it at 15 once we get there. All right. One cut down, one to go. You can't see it. Way over on either side. There's one other cut in the uh, the loading zone there. Load unload zone. The processing zone. Whatever you want to call it. Oh, look at that. I went over. Okay. Let's uh, put it neutral. Slow down a little bit. There we go. Turn that off. Turn it back on. Look at that. It's like I'm a professional. Sort of. Except that I'm not getting paid. By anyone. By Run8, by CSX, Tropicana, YouTube. I'm going to get paid out by anybody. So, there you go. But I'm all... Uh, oh, excuse me. I just took a drink and uh, I kind of drowned myself a little bit there. But uh, I'm okay with not getting paid. Now, would I like to get paid? I've mentioned this before. Yes, I would. It'd be nice if I started making some kind of... a money off of here on YouTube, but if I don't, I, I, I'm okay with it. Alrighty. How come there's still... There we go. Just bailed the uh, brake there a little bit more. It was a one. Probably not making that much of a difference, but 
And let's check these uh, switches coming up here. Yeah. So it's reverse, normal. Should shoot us right around the whole thing. No problem. I do this. Uh, I was doing it before. Is it? Oh, no, no, no. Okay. It's this. Oh, I got to the other side. That was fast. How did I do that? E. No, oh, now I'm back over here. Is it? Do I got to click where I want to go? E. Okay. E. No, that clicks me to the other side. E. No. No, okay. Well, whatever. Can't stand in different spots, as you can see. Hey, look at that. They're smiling, Jim. I don't know why they call him smiling Jim. i never seen him smile. All right. This one should be thrown correctly, right? Yep, it is. Look at all this money sitting here. Who knows what's in these things? They're all loaded. I know that. None of those containers are empty. There's our storage engines. And now it still says that in this area it's 15. Let's see if it slows down to 10. You can't see it, but I can. Oh, still says 15. Why was it 10 on the way up here? I don't. I don't have an answer to that. Okay. Here's all my stored. Power on the right there. This is a cool shot. This is a cool shot. All these different. Uh, let's see here. Here's uh, piggybacks inside well cars. I've been mentioned before. I don't think I've ever seen that. Uh, you know, like watching distant signals up. I've never seen piggybacks. These uh, truck trailers sitting in the well cars. Although it makes sense because they do have those things on them, you know, that, that you can hook a uh, pin into. Just never seen it in real life. Don't do that much real fanning. I have done some in real life now, I'm talking. Uh, but, yeah. I don't have any equipment. You know, a lot of those guys go out there, they got... Uh, radios and stuff so they know where to go to find the trains and all that and I don't uh, I possess uh, none of that. I could buy it but I like doing this a lot better. The chances of finding a train while you're doing it this way is always 100%. Alrighty. So up here on the left you can see there's one of the engines right there. That's either uh, Rice Yard or Duval. I think this is Rice Yard here. The Rice Yard engine's right here. And then this one is the Duval Yard one. I probably should be looking at the switches right now. Well, like I said, they should be all thrown. And then there's that other engine uh, coming in here in this direction. Yeah, they are thrown correctly. All right, let's line it into neutral now. And the other cut we got to get... I didn't look soon enough, did I? Let's get down here. Uh, it's right there. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so desperate to point that out to you, but I was. Okay, how about we do some slowing down here? There we go. Let me jump off. Come over here, wait for him to clear. Look at that. Nice job. Thank you. All right, so now we'll throw that switch here. Get on here. Now we're going to back up. Go to the brakes. Throw it into reverse. And here we go. This one should be correct. But the one, the next one, which is going to be over there somewhere, uh, is wrong. That was wrong. Uh put us on the wrong track, but we can take care of that when we get there. Let's 
said it before, I'm going to say it again. God, I love doing this. This is just so fascinating and fun. go. I'm hoping since I toned down uh, the amount of cars that, uh, amount of trains that spawn automatically on the route that Jax Duvall is going to ease up here just a little bit. Look at this one sunk into the ground. I remember that being like that before. Uh, yeah, so that uh, there's not so many trains piling into this yard all the time. Not, not that I hate doing it. It's just that, uh, you know, seems like a is it normally this busy? I don't know. Of course, you know, again, I'm the only person doing everything, so. A lot of these uh, companies are probably mad with how long it takes me to get the stuff there because I'm only one person working this whole thing. Uh, but... Boy, do we, when it comes time for payday, we save a lot of money. <laughs> it's only me. That's it. Okay, so let's do the old F5, F7. Cheaterific. There we go. Now we're going to go back up this way. You know, there you are. Put her in forward. Uh, let's go. Let's bleed. Let's bail. There we go. You know, see, when I bail, it goes back to zero. So it's got to be something when I bail. Is it because... You know, I, the first time I noticed that, is it because this number here? What happens when I hit F7? Does that number go down real fast? Yeah, it does. So that's what it is. Is it still a notch one? It is. Okay, but this is too heavy, probably. It's... Put it in match two. There we go. All right. Yeah. So, see, between this thing here, I don't know what that means. Uh, that means brake cylinder. I don't know what that means. So it's got to be something I'm not understanding completely yet. I mean, hitting F7, you hit as many times as you want to, as you can see here. <laughs> it eventually fixes it, you know, or gets it to do what I want it to do anyway. I don't know. Fixing it might be the wrong way of saying it, but... Yeah. Okay. Look like there'd be a lot of auto racks that should now be full. So it makes sense that we're having uh, difficulties pulling this one out of here. We're in notch two, in case you didn't notice. No, no, no. Don't, don't mess around with the controls, cat. It starts pawing at the throttle. Put it in notch three. There you go. All right, so we're going to pull this up here now. We're going to go back to the other yard. Everything should be set correctly except for the one switch I got to throw up here. We'll slow down and let me off uh, when we get up there. I'll try to see if I could see the uh, what kind of engine this was. I think it's like I said, an SD forty five dash two. I think they both are. All right. That means brake pressure right there. Was that low? I should have looked at it. When you get to certain parts in the game, you start looking more stuff up. 
try to figure out what you're doing wrong or, or how you can make it do it better. So might be time to figure that out. And then again, it might not be. Who knows? All right, this is one I got to clear right here. I'm going to let uh, Smiling, uh, Smiling Jim let me off here. All right, let's put on a little indie break. That's a lot of weight behind us there. Okay, there we go. Jump off. Okay, now move forward. There you go. Let's put it notch two. All right, let's go up here now. Yeah, it's quite a long cut, as you can see here. Quite a long cut. And we got to shove it all the way back, way back there somewhere. All righty. Okay, so it's going to take a while, as you can see here, uh, to get this... Uh, cut past this uh, switch right here. So again, I'll put you guys on pause and uh, bring you back when uh, you know we're near to clearing. Okay, here it comes now. Uh, we'll throw it into neutral. I headed up to notch four. Get us up to the speed I wanted, which was 15 mile an hour. Now we're going to start applying some brakes. Give me a little bit of auto. Give me a little bit of indie. go Give me some more and some more there it is ready grab onto this now now we will uh throw this into reverse release all the brakes Come on, brakes. Here we go. We'll bail the brakes. There we go. Down to zero. Now we're going to back up. If we, if we can hear the horn, I don't know. Yep. Well, I can hear. I don't know if you guys can. Uh, throw it into notch one reverse. Yeah, see how that, chain, that number changed huge when I hit F7. Then we started moving. We have a really good dent dental plan here at CSX. Maybe that's the concentrated fluoride machine. Although I'm I'm doubting that. I'll have to look it up. I can't verify that it's not. That's what it is. But I'm pretty sure it's not. All right. Got it in notch two now. We should start moving here shortly. There we go. All right, this should take us right back to where we need to go. Down on the other side. Now, after we've got these parked where they need to go, after we get this cut put on however many tracks we need to on the far side, then we're going to take these two engines, we're going to park them over here. Uh, we're not going to put them on the, uh, storage track. We're going to put them on the track over, which is our, uh, track. We're putting engines that, uh, have assignments, uh, you know, like, like the, uh, race yard road train or whatever. Uh, and then we're going to put all of these cuts out of there. There's actually another train in behind here. I think it's on this track here. Uh, that's also waiting to get in. So we'll also have to uh, take care of it. Now see the speed limit here is 10 is what it says. How about that? Okay. 
All right, we've seen this a couple times, right? <laughs> so uh, I'll put you guys on pause uh, until we meet up with that cut we left way over there on the other side. Just before we uh, hook up to it, I'll bring you back. And here we come. All right, I'm going to slide it from notch four down into zero. There's the cut we got to hit right there. When it's behind the pole, it's hiding behind the pole. I see you. Yes, we'll hook up that and push this one all the way down to the other end. That's where we want to go. We'll uh, slow up before we get there. Of course, these two cuts are the ones we just put there a little while ago at the beginning of this episode. I'm getting stuff done. All right, so let's start slowing up here just a bit. Add some brake here. All right. Clearing switches is fine and dandy when it comes to not stopping where you want to. But when you're doing this, there's no uh, <laughs> there's no going past and, and not slowing down right where you want it. It better because you're going to smack right into it. Okay, there we go. So let's uh, release the brakes. Come on, brake. There you go. And I'll just hit F7 right from the get. Now let's continue backing up. at least a notch too because this is a big train here we go should be coming here shortly don't make me look dumb there we go and that's going to be perfect do the old F5, F7. We'll run down to this side of the train. We'll say, get me up. There we go. Okay, now we're going to run this all the way down to the other side. And again, I'll bring you back when we're close. And here we come to the end now. Go back into zero. And we're going to need to slow it down here just a bit. Some auto brake. Definitely because the train's so long, the Indy brake's not going to be able to handle that much weight. All by itself. There we go. On to five. Okay. Get off. Need a bail. Yeah, it's gonna come to a stop. Alrighty. Then we're gonna back it up some more. Here he comes. Let's put it in notch two. We already know notch one ain't gonna be able to handle it. Plus he's across a couple uh, switches, so uh, that's gonna be some flange flange. Friction going on. Alrighty. Stop it like right here in this area somewhere. We'll go into the front then and see where that leaves us. We still got these three tracks here to put more cars on. So we should be able to do it. We will we'll get it done. I'm not gonna run out of track. It would appear. All right, smiling Jim. Give me some more. Give me some more. Okay, that'll do. Breaky, breaky. And now that I'm looking at this, I probably should have brought these back down this way, right? <clears throat> oh, this track's uh, for naught. Ah, this one's got to close. 
kind of close. Right, let's move it up just a little bit. Throw it forward. Yeah, didn't quite stop it where I wanted to. There we go. Couldn't hear the horn that time. Uh, let's put it in notch one. Put it in notch two. All right, we are moving forward. It's not back here yet. There we go. There it goes. Yeah, I don't like how close this track, this uh, car is to this track right here. Yeah, because we might have been able to fit maybe two or three more cars, maybe more. Onto here, but I don't think it's going to be a problem anyway. So what am I worried about? I don't know. Okay. A little bit more. That's good right there. Stop it right there. All right, now we're going to fly to the front end of this, see where we're at. Oh, yeah, I can't even see the engine yet. Is he, is he over there somewhere? Oh, he's still in the other yard. All righty. So now this one's way too close right here, so we're going to we're gonna have to break it right here. All righty. Let's land. There we go. This is probably not going to be able to get a couple. Oh, it can be a coupled. How about that? So we're going to set this. Do that. We're going to set this. Close that. There we go. Forward. Take the brake off. That's probably a good idea. Put it in notch two. Right from the get. I'm notch messing around. Ah. There we go. Perfect. You know what's not perfect, though? Yeah, we're in the butter zone, folks. We're going to have to stop the video right now, which is a shame because I was having a good time. And I've gone and ruined it. All right. So, uh, I hope you guys had fun here in episode 18. I did. It was nice. It was all here in Jack's Duval. We got some, you know, parking some train. We got some more train to park yet. So, we'll pick up here again in episode 19 when I come back. That'll come out about... Uh, eight days or so somewhere around there i think it's the schedule i got it on uh but i hope you had fun why don't you like why don't you subscribe why don't you leave me a comment and if you don't like the fact that our trains have the concentrated fluoride machine on them well this just may not be the channel for you